Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, so this video is going to be about the um, the new season, what's been going on since the 9th of August to basically now. Um, basically, just uh, this is a spoiler video, so if nobody wants to find out the new operators, kind of what they do, uh, then look away now, go on to another video quickly, and um, that's basically it. So basically, uh, this was like probably the most leaked season uh, we have seen so far. And it's just really, really weird of, like, what's been going on. Uh, how many, like, things that we were kind of thinking of, um, of, like, and what we got right as well from, like, May the 11th, uh, and what we've got right now. Uh, but this was supposed to be, um, given out on August the 26th on a live stream, uh, but of course it has been leaked. Uh, so let's have a look at the first one. So the first one is a... Uh, it was a little teaser trailer on, I believe, August the 9th. Now, this was uh, then translated the next day to be uh, a theme park in uh, Chinese, in oh, Hong Kong, uh, in Cantonese or Mandarin, I can't remember what it was. Um, but then that was through Twitter. Uh, they gave us a little teaser trailer, or teaser picture. And, uh, yeah, on the 10th of August, it was then translated to be theme park. We then had another... Uh, image which was later leaked in the day which was the actual map itself which was called uh, theme park um, which is actually pretty cool uh, so this is it right here and you can see that uh, this was an actual leak through the rainbow six siege um, whiteboard itself and yeah so that's basically it um, and I did a bit more of a video on that on my um, on my channel if you want to go and check that out. But this was leaked by actual Ubisoft, somebody within Ubisoft themselves. Well, like, kind of anyway, I think by the looks of it. Uh, but I don't know, there's been a lot of leaks uh, throughout the like, last five days. Um, but yeah, let's uh, have a look at the next picture. So this was on the 9th later on of the Twitter uh, kind of tweet. And we then go into, I believe, the 10th of August, which we, we're given this. This is the Poland attacking mail operator. Uh, and I don't understand why uh, Ubisoft actually gave us a little sneak peek of this, because this is coming out season four. So I'm very confused of why this has been kind of revealed like this. Um, it's not usual for them to give out something that early. But we are getting a female defending Grom operator this season, season 3, which will be then going into later on, and this was released on the 10th of August. This is all we got, and this was actually from Twitter. Uh, we then go into, I believe, the 13th of August, which we then got, um, we then got the little uh, teaser trailer, just to say when the, what the actual thing is called so season three is called operation blood orchid orchid is a common plant within uh china hong kong kind of that region of the area of the world and we basically got this little trailer to say when the operators are coming out a little sneak peek and basically the tra the reveal trailer uh is coming out on the live stream of august 26th on uh rainbow's uh twitch's kind of uh live stream uh, it'll also be coming up on my channel as well, and this was also later on in the uh, reveal trailer and the Grom Operator reveal. Um, so basically, we we're getting the Grom Operator for that. We then got this little bit. We only got six seconds of the actual um, season three kind of little teaser, um, whilst the rest was like a pro league kind of game. And this was basically uh, the uh, we th what we thought was the defender, right? Uh, this woman we thought that the back of her. And the front of her was the same. It was actually different. The back of the person was the, uh, what do you call it, was the um, actual attacker. And the woman's the defender. We then got also, we saw a picture of the little gas as well. And that was basically, uh, I was saying it might have been poison, might have been gas. Which was later on, uh, which we found out was the attacker's ability. Now the woman... That you can see in this picture i don't know who uh, pictures this is this was off google uh, this is not mine this is theirs um but basically those are very similar Rem remember those two faces because the left face we've just seen was uh, was basically leaked. this was leaked four weeks before an even like teaser trailer 
and the person on your right remember because we are going to be having a look at her in a couple of minutes um so basically and we also thought we would get insights on which hasn't been confirmed yet but we never know um but yeah that's basically what was going on on the 13th i believe uh, this also was on the 13th, this was uh, a leaked image of somebody called Lezion, which is the attacker, no, the defending operator for Hong Kong. Uh, we'll get into him a bit more and his ability and basically everything about him later on in this video. Uh, we've then also got, uh, I believe on the 14th of August, this was like probably the biggest leak uh, I have seen on Rainbow. We were leaked all three um Operators coming out this season, their names, their abilities, what they look like, uh, basically everything. So this is the first one. This is Ying. Uh, she's the new uh, Hong Kong attacking operator. She's got something called uh, Sandella, which uh, that's her uh, ability. And basically, she can. It's a cluster of flash charges that can either be anchored on surfaces or rolled out as a grenade. So this basically means uh, it's like a, a flash a flashbang that can go under like a um, a barricade or something uh that can like flash the whole team you can rush in or it's like um you can also have as well unreinforced wall you know like fuse basically uh, it's exactly the same as fuse but with a cluster of flash charges that can be like from the up above so not hatches or anything and then you can break through it with like sledge ash and just go in so she's a very useful operator by the looks of it uh and i can't wait uh to play her uh, but yeah, she was leaked four weeks ago, um, as I uh, showed you the picture, and it was, uh, we, we didn't think um, this person was real at first, as the textures on her is very low. Um, but anyway, this is the new uh, defending operator of uh, the Hong Kong, and this is Lesion. Uh, and basically, he's a uh, his operator, he's I don't know if his thing is something called a GU, uh, that's his special ability, which is a cloaked toxic mine injecting a compound with, which injures opponents and limits their speed. So this basically means a uh, cloaked toxic mine is like Echo, you know, the Echo drones are very kind of cloaked. This is basically um, a cloaked mine, which injects a compound. Uh, so like kind of the, the little gas things that you can see uh, on his front of his shirt that would uh, go on to like uh, anybody walking past. So from like a three speed, like Ash, Twitch or IQ, uh, that would bring them down to a two speed. So it, over a certain amount of time. Um, so basically, because um, a lot of this season, season two, we've seen Ash, IQ and Twitch, a lot of the three speed operators uh, just rushing in and over like 30 seconds to a minute finishing the round. So a lot of this season has been about rushing. Now this, basically this season is bringing it back down to then um you've got those three three you know three minutes of you've got to concentrate and you've now not only got to focus on echo drones and people but about these uh, defending kind of cloak mines and things but when he goes uh, when the toxic mine goes off it'll have a little indicator of where the actual thing went off so you can see someone's there and you can go and investigate kill them maybe uh, or just basically leave it. If you're in a secure the area, the 1v1, 10 seconds left. If it goes off, you know exactly where they're coming from. So I think that's pretty decent. We've also got Ella. Ella is the Grom operator. She's the defender uh, that we're getting. She's age 30. She's the youngest operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Usually the SAS and the other kind of uh, Spetsnaz operators are age 40. So she's the youngest operator that we're having so far. Uh, she has got something called a Grismot mine, which is basically a concussion proximity mine that can be anchored on surfaces, impairing hearing and causing a dizzying effect. So this basically means the dizzying effect is like a, or the, you can put mines on like a wall or floor, like a Jaeger kind of thing. When it goes off, it causes like a dizzying effect like Echo, Echo's drone. And also, I think what it means by the hearing is that uh, little bits of audio, so like footsteps, it will be very distant and you won't be able to hear them that well. So she will basically work very well with Kavera. Like you can you can chuck someone like that, Kavera can come up behind, basically easy interrogation, find out where the whole team is, basically round over. 
Uh, so I think Ella and Caveira will work very, very nicely together. You've also, uh, with Ella and Lesion, they're both two uh, defenders that can like have got minds. So you're now trying to find the uh, the Ella, the kind of um, concussion mine. You're trying to find the other mine of Lesion and um, watch great Echo's drone as well. So there's so many things you've got to think about and where they can be and... So you don't get kind of caught because if you get caught by any of these, it's going to slow you down. So if you've got 10 seconds left, you run into Lesion's trap, you're pretty much screwed. And you're then going to have to go from instead of like five seconds, you know, you can get in to then three seconds. You can't get in because you've been kind of uh, kind of shocked by dizzying or, you know, kind of slowed down by the actual gas itself. So basically, these are all leaks. These are not. Uh, w these weren't revealed by uh, Rainbow themselves. Um, so that was a bit interesting, uh, and this was on the fourteenth of August. Uh, we're now. This is all uh, Nukem Dukem's pictures. I couldn't find any other pictures online. I was trying to look for them. So uh, thanks for uh, you know, Nukem Dukem. This is Nukem Dukem's uh, emblem and logo. I can't forget really that. But the source, that is the original source as well. So uh, that is the person it came from. Um, so uh, kind of that's theirs. We're then now going to go into uh, things that were coming out May. May 17. So this is uh, in between Season 2 in Operation Health. And basically uh, a technical test server came out. And a lot of people did a lot of uh, going through files, having a look through things. And basically, as you can see here, this is somebody called Dazzler, which is the attacker, which is a code name for the uh, person of, I can't remember the names, um, but basically, yeah, this is the attacker. And if we go over to the other one, um, we can see the exact kind of thing. So this is Ying. So that was basically the uh, code name for Ying. And as you can see, the picture, they're very, very similar. And this was back in May, if you think about it. So this is like what... Uh, five, six months before the actual uh, kind of even leak or trailer or anything before that. And so we knew there was an attacker, we knew her emblem, uh, this was all leaked through the technical test server itself. We then got Caltrop, uh, which is a defender, which is basically Lesion. And if you have a look at the picture, we'll get straight over into the other picture and we'll have a look. And they're very, very similar. I mean, they're not spot on, but they're very similar in the way. And they, that, that could have always been what they look like, but they changed them throughout the season. They've gone, oh, no, we'll have a new kind of, um, what do you call it, uh, kind of image for them. Um, and, you know, six months takes a long time. They can change a lot of things in six months. But this is basically the files, people going through the files in May, and they saw a lot of this. So the Caltrop and Dazzler, which is code names for the operators that we've now got of uh, Ying and Lesion. Um, the SDU is the uh, abbreviations for, I can't remember what for, but it's basically something to do with the Hong Kong, and that's their kind of, their special team force is SDU, and so we basically knew that this was going to be the Hong Kong operators, and those were the code names. Of course, these weren't actually going to be the actual people, we knew that, as uh, Mirror and Jackal, uh, when we had a look at the uh, leaks through that, uh, they had different code names as well. We didn't know their actual abilities or anything up until the actual trailer. Um, so basically, this was a huge uh, leak back, you know, kind of five, you know, five six months before we even got like a picture or anything. So we kind of knew the person, their actual kind of their name, and basically everything else. We couldn't actually get into those files to have a look at the people themselves. So. Basically, we, we didn't really know uh, what they look like. But if we go over to the other image, uh, this is basically, um, this is a gadget. We This is Dazzler's gadget, which is, let me try and think, which is uh, Ying's um, thing, which is basically, she's got, uh, by the looks of it, five fag grenades, which this is this can change in six months. Like, anything can basically change from what we saw from May to now. Um, but basically, this is the blind spot, so we know that this is like a flash of, uh, grenade kind of thing um and so that basically her gadget you've also got the caltrop which is uh lesion the mine we know that this is cloaked so like um as it's got there the uh deployed up cloaking uh so that basically says that um this is very much like the echo drone as it's got cloaking 
um, within it. Uh, and there's just a lot of other things there about the actual, uh, just the, the person is other things like the textures, but you've got the proximity detector entity, right? This basically means when something goes off, it will have like a little red dot or whatever of like the ping that will come up saying there's someone here, your mind's gone off. Um, and so basically in like 10 seconds of like secure the area, you know where that last person is coming in from that door. So you can hold an angle, a very easy angle and easily get the win. So uh, I think that's been very decent as well. Um, that's actually what I was thinking uh, way back. Um, I was actually thinking, I wonder if they have something like ultrasound something that you can put down, it will then beam off someone and it will ping when somebody goes past it. So it's basically, I think that's going to be kind of what's kind of going on. You've then got the mine, the deployment mine of the concussion. So that's obviously Dazzlers, um, which we, we got. This is all through May and uh, we got the map, um, which we didn't really know what it was. Uh, up until about a week or two after this and we found out it was theme park and we thought that we were going to get this for uh, we knew that we were going to get this for season three um but this was her gun so we know the operator's guns and um which is uh, pretty cool um but i think that's all we that's all we got in may and basically yeah that's it sorry if this uh video has been a bit long uh longer than i expected uh basically i've been having uh, a lot of problems with my uh mic i recorded this and it the mic didn't actually work as i was clicking onto things so i basically had to kind of watch that video that i made and like audio over it so sorry if there's a uh, quite a time gap but basically this is all you need to know about the season three the uh the names so like ella ying and lesion uh, you've then got the uh, actual things that they do, so like the GU, you've got the uh, Kalida and the other things, so like the actual op operators, like what's their special ability. Uh, what they look like, basically everything, and that's all leaked. So basically the whole of this week has been full of leaks of the actual map, the operators, what they all do, except from like the odd bit of kind of the theme park, which was like... Um, a little bit of a teaser trailer and a little bit of a and the woman operator as well that was a bit of a teaser so that's basically all we got we should be actually seeing this on the august 26th i mean there's been so many leaks this season uh it's unreal but anyway if you've enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell for more um leaks and things coming out this week uh, there will also be the live stream on my channel on august 26th uh having a look over the uh the kind of the trailer of which operator they kind of what they look like which we already know but how they actually work within the map we'll be able to see the map as well and uh, there'll also be content on august 29th make sure you're looking out for the world war Two beta as well or on august 25th uh to the 4th of september that'll be also coming up on my channel uh make sure to follow my twitch twitter and facebook for more um things about kind of videos when videos are coming out live streams are coming out basically everything um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.